Okay, we'll grab another front rope there. It's in the big canoe. Tie it, tie it off. We'll tie it. We've we'll, we got to tie that down tight yet. Get the other rope. Yeah, I got to tie it. In. We're not there yet. Get this other big rope. And yeah, where do you want it? I want you on that side doing basically what I'm doing here on that side. Hi, so I'm Richard Dolan. I've been uh, researching and writing about UFOs for a, quite a while. And we are uh, <clears throat> driving toward Hubbardsville, New York, which is central New York State, to uh, go to the scene of a, a fascinating UFO and apparent alien encounter. Uh, 23 years ago to this day, this is July 24th, 2014. And in the car ahead of us, right there, are uh, Freddie Arcuri driving and Lou Piazza. I'm here with John Fava. John's running the camera. And my all and John's cousin Jen, who I went to college with back in the day. And we are going to um, to the scene of the event. We're on our way. We're gonna go actually in the canoe. And we're gonna take the ride. I'm looking forward to it. Smell the European. This is not the way we approached it, of course. Now, when you coming were back, we're coming from the other direction. Coming from yes. The other yes. Okay. And as you were coming back, then you were seeing like light. You saw a bizarre light first. Yeah, it was a, you know, like you saw it right away. The where, the where the light came from was in the woods, and then yeah. you you realize right away it was something. It was an object. It wasn't just a light. That was what's, what's beyond over uh, that cornfield? Right that cornfield that you know, we came in the road to a cemetery in a big cornfield. Yeah. Beyond this little ridge line over there is that cornfield. And that's why I had walked right out to the back of that cornfield. There's like there's no road or anything like that immediately by through the through the farmer's field. They, I mean, if somebody was going to come in there, but there's no. I mean, the corn's right up to the. <laughs> Planted. It's not going to be disturbed yeah, till right. harvest time. Nobody's drove yeah. through there. Nothing's been touched. Nothing. Wow. Yeah. Looked like it did coming in today. Well, how about we go a little further up then? Yeah. They're right. We're really right on it. It's easier when I turn around and look at the other way, but I'm telling you, it's right here. It's standing right here. Where right would it here. be standing? Like, right here, right here. Not See, on the water, yeah. so on the right at the edge, because it was all it was. Gr so like, this is all brush here, though. So right, it was, no grass brush here, it was grass here. It was grassier, and it was there was you know the land. You could walk, pull up, and get on the land. It wasn't as uh, filled in so like this. Just, I just want to see this. So you're here. We're facing the other way. I'm going to turn around the way it was. I'm going to turn this right around the way it was. Okay. Lou is in front. Lou is in front. You were in front at the time. We're See? drifting. You were basically. I'm standing. I'm right. standing up here. You're standing in the boat. I'm standing right here, up, is and I'm looking back shore. beyond right in there. I'm looking at everything right there, and let's see. I'm coming here. It's like 50 feet away. Yeah, well, the the, the 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 craft or whatever is back in there. It's not right here. It's back in Can there. You see the craft oh, right yeah. here? Yeah, because none of the stuff was here. So let's say. Good God, that is really intimate. It's like, that's very yeah. up close and personal. All right, I'm going to tell you something. I can't say that it was any more than, couldn't have been no farther than this. No far, no farther than this, standing right there. And we're stuck on the... That's uh, incredible. That's incredibly close. That's right, there, but I told you, the light's so bright back there. Right. Now I'm looking just at a black silhouette that can't make out it's, you know, it's up close. I, I mean, I drew the picture what it looked like from yeah. half the distance there looking in them when they were when they were peeking out. Right. But now that it was right here, it was just like that bonfire effect. You know what I mean? You got the lights behind it. You turn around and see the dark side of the moon. Oh, exactly. You know what I mean? But it was standing right there, right there. And it did that bizarre and we're, and we're, we're arm pretty much, movement. We're that you pretty described. much facing. Yeah, Louis pretty much facing because this was all beaver dam right here. You're facing more like yeah, this I'm way. Oh, yeah, I think it's even. I mean, it was, it was even this close, Richard. I mean, it was it was right it was, here. It was there, like not no, here. here. There. Right here, right here, because the canoe was facing this way. I was standing up, which I will just. Uh huh. I was standing up. We're stuck on it. And the canoe is pretty much where we yeah, are now. It's stuck. It, yeah, it's on the wood. So you're a little bit past it. No, I was just like the point of the canoe was probably stuck on it. It could be no, very close to it. It's right there, right there. Good God. That, 
So you're standing there looking at it, and Lou, you're you're like, let's get out of here. What well, were you I'm doing? looking. I'm looking at, like I said, the one guy behind the other, and all of a sudden, and go ahead and laugh. I see no genitals. That's when I said, this isn't human. And as soon as I saw that, that's when I, I jumped out of it. That's it. You jumped out into the water. I jumped right out into the water. Yeah, he jumped right out of the water. And he yanked, he literally yanked, yanked the canoe out right, right, right up from underneath you. I mean, it's just like having been having a rug literally. pulled out from underneath you. He did the same thing, and I, I was in the wall. I was my one leg was in, on the dam, and I had and I put the paddle down like this to catch myself. I was out of I was out of the canoe, and I'm reaching yeah. back. I grabbed this right here. I to stop left him. his ass behind. And I yelled. This wasn't the canoe. Yes. Yes. Oh yes. This was the canoe. yes. Oh yes. This is the craft. This is the canoe. <laughs> And I had to go to this day. To the, yeah, I had to stop him and say, Lou, God damn it. And I turned around, now it was standing right there still, but now it's not waving anymore. It's just standing there, statue. I was looking at it, I guess. And it was short, I think you said. You Maybe. know, it wasn't tiny, but, it, but I say every size, five, five and a half feet. I don't think, oh, it, was, so? I don't, I don't think it was like tiny. And, nobody and the else skin stretched. was very white? From when, we, when I looked at it, from what we saw it back by the craft, the whole area appeared white. The, well, whole, and then we had all the, the whole area there. was just a glow of this white fog coming fog. off the, the fog. It wasn't even moving. Over it, was there like, on that side. it was like fog. It was you like look, fog that was fixed. To the left of you, there was the, the, the right at the time. Right. The right at the time, no fog, nothing. Yeah, okay, don't talk with the Only hands. Only over here. Your canoe. Don't, no talk with the hands. <laughs> but, no fog here, fog, fog here. here. Oh, yeah, it was just, it was just on the, it was just around this, the craft. The area that's all bare right when we come back. It's just around. And, you get, and the craft was like, you, there's a cone. Exactly. A exactly shape. the way I drew it. I mean, that was, that well, I'm, I'm more than a thousand percent positive. I'm really, I know what it looked like. And the, and the gold amber bars, I clearly see the curvature. See what I'm saying? The amber lights. There are long, there are long More rectangular bars just on. There seems to be nothing going on here. I mean, there's. There, well, there's, there's see somebody, see this little, see this little dock that people got in here, and then there's a house. There. I don't even know if, there. I don't even know if there was a house there uh, that long ago, but uh, I don't know. Yeah. What, 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 what were they looking for right here? But well, let's go take a little ride up, up, and we'll. And then we'll go take a look at. And the, then we'll come the back. Site. Yeah, then we'll come back the way we actually uh, approached it, and uh, yeah, give you a little quick little time to digest what we just talked about right now. I have to say, this is this is really. I mean, when you see this, bar, this kind of brush before, wasn't here then. It was it was more it was open nuts. grass. Yeah, this is very similar to how you described it, though. And I had a pretty good a good one. So, um, as you were saying, then by this point, you're coming back, and you yeah. notice a glow. Yeah, so it's always right there. There. Left. See right now? We already made. We already came down. We made a right. Now we're making a left. And you still, we're looking in this direction to glow. See what I'm saying? Always right. remember to your left over here, off 45 off your shoulder. Exactly. That's awareness that there's a glow going on down there. You don't know what it is yet. You said there was a bridge? We, the bridge we were parked at. So we were parked to put the boat. And there in. might have been a light there. You're well, wondering if that there was people, possible. You know, from that angle, you think fishing. people sitting there on the bank Oh, yeah, fishing. sure. You know? That's what you think. And again, how late was it? It was pretty late. We just got well, something well, rolling through here. You know, the, sun, the sun had be completely down and the stars are out now. Right. It's, it's, it's pitch black. Right. It's pitch black down here. But it wasn't as late as midnight or anything like no, that. No, no, no. It had to be like 9.30, 10 o'clock, right. quarter to 10. Yeah, so we really know, black. We the hell with this. You know, I guess we'll just go now. With Whenever a glow. We, we just go. A glow here. Yeah, down in that there. direction. We'll see it down there. Whatever. You know, something is, you know, something's happening. There's a glow. Right. What I don't know. So, yeah, so these trees are definitely... I certainly know which ones were here 23 years ago, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Which ones are, the upshoots the smaller ones, obviously, so. I don't, I know there wasn't as many, you see the biggest ones were here for sure. Okay, can All you right. see through that opening now? Right straight ahead, 12 o'clock, could you see? Sure, straight? yeah, yeah, could, yeah. That's the picture you wanted, did you get it yet or no? I did, I took a okay. few. Let's see, I'll get you another one, but that's generally the, the idea. I this is how deeper. it looks. I can see deeper into the woods, right, right. Back then. So if, if this is, I mean, because well, your, your side was up there, but it looked like this, yeah, and you saw you could see part of a craft, right. and you saw creatures right. peeking out from behind. Right. right, there was no one around, and I was talking to them. In fact, they finally decided to peek around and look as I'm yelling, hey, how's it going tonight? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> I was, I'm talking to them. <laughs> I'm like, hey, how you doing? What's going on tonight? You know, just like we talked to this gentleman on the curb just now about fish. Right? Exactly, right? exactly. See, another human being would just stop and talk to strangers, right? Because at strangers, first you, right? you thought they were people. Sure, I mean, you know, they're going to talk to you, right? I guess. 
these. Well, you were, hello, hello. And then one came out. Then they had this light. One I approached they had this, you. This stupid Did you? I'm trying to remember. that came around right on us. I told you there wasn't a spotlight. We were, there was no light on us. I mean, you see oh, the light? Right. There's right. no light on the water. Louis right in front of him. I'm looking right at I mean, there's no light on us. We're pointed right at this thing. It's like dead on. Aiming at us. There's no light shining at us. None. Yet it looked like a light to me. You might, you know, there's a light. Did and I was see, quiet. I'm trying to remember. So you did see, you see again, this so creature come out? Did you see him walk no, out? That's the part I, I like from what, what you're in your forehead. Get him off your forehead. The, um, the time I turned my head here as we hit the beaver dam, I turned around and looked. Boom, he's there. I'm like, uh -huh. I think they were just there. Now that one's right there. That, that I, happened. That's about the only other thing I could, I could, I could I talk about. I could kind of recollect, go back and say, like well, a little bit of a time skip. Yeah, like, how did that happen so fast? And it was already waving to me. Uh huh. But it was fast. Very strange. This is a bit of high strangeness. It, coming. it I didn't really see it is. Coming. I mean, well, we could probably add more to that about the. See how you can see through here, Richard? See how you look deep? Look, see deep in there now. See how you can see, oh, see yeah. deep yep, in there yep, now? Yep. Okay, you can look in with nothing with nothing bothering us in front too much. This is the way it all was. Uh huh. So now on, we're going we're gonna to come down to the last stretch here. Okay, you see that dot that wasn't there all those years yep. ago? Okay, that's basically right there at the bend. Sure. So you get the idea now. Here we so are. at this point, you're, you're, you haven't encountered them yet, but you're, no, see, you're still seeing I know glow. where I am now. I know how close I am to the bridge to where the truck is. I yeah. know where I am now. Right. I, I got enough, you know, starlight. I know exactly where I am, and we're just going, we're not suspecting anything. You know, I know there's lights glowing over there, whatever it is. And when I come around the corner, I'll see if they're fishing, man, whatever the hell it is. Yeah. And of course, when we went around this corner. It was a tripod shape. Conical tripod. Mm -hmm. It was on tree lights. And then the it amber was, lights, you could like see tree lakes, three of them going. Stance. You know what I mean? Yeah. But across. it was a conical. It was a cone with a cut off top. There was no point to duck. Yep. It was, you know, it was a cone. Like a yeah. trapezoid cone. It was, you know, it was a. Exactly. Yeah. But it almost, it and looked like it was hovering. the area came up to its base, basically. So I could still see the legs. I couldn't see it to the legs to the ground. But I could see the, there were legs, one, two, three. But that fog, I call it a fog, like that dry ice effect. Yes. But it wasn't moving. It was just like there. You know what I mean? It was just like uh, fog that was not moving. Yeah, it was just like there, and it was like light. This light effect. It was like weird. Everything was just a glow and this whitewash. The whole situation you know, the is very right? weird. So yeah, these little beavers we got their little little thing going on in there. I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. See, so see this little this point here. Okay. So see, there's a point I can't see in the corner yet. See, there's a corner, right? Yes, I can't exactly. see that Turn. Yet. I can't see the corner yet, and I'm just, I don't know how close I am. I think I'm dead set in the middle, I would say. I probably was. As I'm just coming down here. We're basically a couple hundred feet away. We are, we're not in the corner yet. That's not the corner. Or although we're starting to look beyond that. See? Oh, okay. Now, I could say maybe from here we saw it, because these bushes probably were not here back then. And what were you seeing, the craft? We, yes. Oh, it's yeah, there was, was nothing see, here. See straight down? Right, this is all, this is bare. This was down. Yeah, I could look straight down into the woods from here. I see. You see, which we're not going to be quite get that effect from No, that. I hear, I get, I get it though. But from this point, from this point you're in, seeing a craft. Yes, from this point in, right now, whatever it is, we don't know it's craft yet. Right, you're saying I got to get halfway to the distance, and I'm like, what the frig is, you know, you're what is this? Thing. So now I'm coming down, yeah, I'm coming down here. At about this speed? I probably was still paddling. Just let me go by myself, Lord. I'll just, you know, probably emulate it a little bit better. Hey, man. And I'm, you know, I'm right now I'll probably saying, what the hell is this? I'm probably talking to Louie. We had no wind against And Lou, us. were you seeing it at this point? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you he, could right, see right. it plain as day. Yeah, 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 yeah. The glow. Straight ahead of us. But what is this, you know? What, what the hell is What's this? What's this fog? The light. It was amazing. God. At like 9.30 at night or something like yeah, that? Yeah, 10 o'clock, whatever it was. It was closer to 10. So right about now, we're definitely looking at it, right in the woods. We're looking straight down, but it's not there at the wood, at the water line, Richard, it's here. Mm -hmm. It's more here we're looking, okay? Right. More, if you looked at 12 o'clock, slightly more like 10 o'clock, you know what I mean? Yep, yep, yep. It's looking down in there. Right, right through here, and there's no trees here. It's, this stuff was all not, not high like this. It was all down. This. Not high like this. We're looking right at it. So kind of... If you use that beacon, they see that lighter green foliage up there? Yes. Use that as your guide, straight down. Yep. Concentrate no, I, on that area. Exactly. I would say that would, that would be basically it. That's where it was. Or even more to the left, but that's where it was. Can you get a GPS coordinate on your phone? Yeah, I can. I would love to get oh, well, a GPS coordinate. I don't know if I have a signal. Oh. I might be able to. I'd love to get a, just for the hell of it, to know exactly 
the latitude and longitude I'm, of I'm exactly where we are. Brian's got it, so we're screwed up. Of course, there's no wind. It's still, still in the night. Okay, so we're looking, no blue jay going straight in here. Looking straight at that. I don't so know if I can get right, my our right location here. here. Richard? I'm right here. Right here is where they definitely popped their heads out. Right about here. We were looking, we were see this leaning tree right here, funny straight ahead of right, So let's, let's just so. this, this leaning tree right here. See this one right here that's leaning? Yes. Right here, you know. Right here. Right here. Let's go up to the side of it and try to look beyond beyond in the back. Would be better. Would it be better? Yeah, let's get closer to it. Yeah, I just wanted you to get this angle right up. Louis, 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 Louis. Louis. What? Pad on. Okay, so you know, I'm, I'm, I'm putting my paddle right down. You do what you did that night. Uh, there you go, you, Dan. You right now, about here, this is about where I drew the picture from, about right here looking at it. And the being was by that crooked tree? Behind Roughly? that. Behind that into the woods that was. Behind that crooked tree, in further into the woods. Okay. Okay, is where this is. That's good visibility. Yeah, but being able to look straight in, like you like you you saw other areas. Yes, okay? exactly. Being able to see right back in there, plain as day. Okay. You got a good little headwind though. So yeah. Paddle. So I don't like I said with this headwind, we'll never be able to determine. But we're standing here. I'm not even paddling now. I'm kind of just drifting. I have to think. So at this point, you're seeing two creatures peek from behind. Right. Did you just jump out of your skin? How are you, I told how are you, you I mean, honestly, honestly, the thing that came to my head was this freaking shit is for real. I mean, it was just a realization. So of it the wasn't moment, terror, it was just moment, fascination. I was fascinated, I was curious. I told you I was calm, as calm as I think I was. I wasn't. And you know, Lou, I didn't feel you, you danger. saw them. You saw them. was calm same too, really. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I didn't jump. They, well, at first, again, I mean, the, the way it looked to him, it looked, the, 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 it looked like a tripod to me. And. The beings at first, because he was standing up, I didn't see him as well as he did. Maybe I saw the wave him at all when they first came out. You saw yeah, I didn't. I saw him afterwards. You didn't see them ducking behind you, like I saw because I was the one standing up at the curb. Yeah, because when he drew the, the picture, I'm like Freddie. I don't remember yeah, seeing the them peek him, out. Hey, how's it going tonight? Hey, but when I passed them, there? I passed them, and then I turned, and that's when I I saw them, and that right <laughs> the wave. Yeah, we are right about this close right now as to where we were. They were right back in there. We are this close. Right yeah, now. but the amazing thing, we were over there, and then all of a sudden they're here. No, we were just cruising by. We yes. Were, we were yeah. just cruising by watching the whole thing as they were milling about or whatever. We try to, we're dumbfounded by this, and then I'm going to tell you, I'm going to try to put, put me on the spot yeah. once again, right on the beaver dam. Now where, now where did this distance is here. So, about in front of all this grass years ago, was yeah. the beaver dam. Man, oh man, oh man. You saw two of them like maybe this. the two were the original but two. None of you behind. saw more than two, though. Maybe no, the third one was this one at the bank waving to us. Maybe there were three. Maybe there was three because I saw the two just. Maybe like the, this. this one came ahead of the other two to the bank to get closer to us as we were coming by to get a view of us. Maybe I don't. So all I'm doing is concentrating on this one that's waving at me because what else am I going to concentrate on? I mean, I told you there could have been an army of them. Oh, exactly. I would have never known. I would have just been and looking. That's at, why he wants to. He wants. Right, yeah, wants to go make contact. I'm like, I'm not making contact. I don't, I don't even believe what I see right now. I don't believe what I'm seeing either. I mean, you know, as as I'm it, seeing it. it. It's alive. It's for real. Whatever yeah. the hell it is, it's for real. Yeah, yeah. And that's it. And then, right and then, there. then you were gonna, you got out of the boat. Oh, I jumped at out of the point, boat. You yeah, out. I started dragging. And I had the paddle. I'm I guess it's like it's like a soaking you know? wet. It, it looked, it looked like it at first. I'm not gonna lie. I thought they were two people doing the nasty. You know, that's what I'm thinking. But it, they didn't look like people. Well, did they? It, it, no, when we got distance, closer though, to them, this is the thing. When we got closer like, to them, all of a sudden, from a distance you see white, white figurines you knowing yeah. about. You see white glimpses. Right. You think they're naked people behind That's, what? Yeah, sure. What is, this? Right. Pen? what is it? What is going on? Then you realize it's not a pen. It's, I, mean, I don't know what they are, but it's definitely a machine with with, yeah. with glowing amber bars on it. And then there's a spotlight on it. And then you yell out to them. They peek out, and you see two two. Figurines that are just like glowing white with big black eyes. You're like, what yeah. the fuck? are you fucking kidding me? I mean, that's always gonna be my my eye, my head. Are no, you exactly. kidding me? This shit's for real? I mean, what else can I say? I, yeah, I, I can't even believe it. 
I'm telling you. I don't even believe it. I'm, I'm looking, I saw no balls, nothing. I'm like, this can't be. I mean, you look like Louie right now. See his glasses right there? Yeah. With figurine head oh. with dark eyes, they look like that. I mean. But, but the eyes, I'd say, were about like this. You serious, Richard? They were, I mean, I see I these things. They're like, they, make, they draw them with the pointy corners. I remember them being slanted like that. But definitely big, you know, like our lens there, the whole yeah. orbital yep. area. No and doubt about it. The only source of light, though, was behind. Was some, from the ground up. From the ground up. It was, the, it was I told you, it was this whitewash, this whole. Yeah, and the fog was glow, here, nothing over a there. Glow. I didn't we even call it fog, but it wasn't fog. Well, whatever fog it was, was whatever probably it was, it was dispersing the light, I would. Think. Whatever it was, it, it wasn't looked really like a, a true fog. fog. Whatever that was emanating from the. Because you said the fog wasn't moving. There was no, no it was motion. Just this, it was no motion. It was just like yeah. there. It was like this whole. It's an odd, odd the thing fog. happening on the ground that you know there wasn't moving or it was just there. It was just like yeah. this density of something. There was all, it looked like I said it looked like beams, not so much beams, but it looked like all the, they were standing on a light source, you know, in the dark and how the light would be coming up from the light source. You standing on it. That's what it looked like to me. Everything the light was coming from the ground up. It wasn't coming from the craft. No, I think it was, it was coming from the ground up. The, cra the, 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 the the whole region, the, the whole, whole region, the whole area around this thing was like a lit up from the bottom up. That's the way it appeared to me. That's the source. Lou, would you agree with that? Yeah, I would agree with that. And then the amber lights, of course. I mean, you're looking at that, and the lights were just on. Yeah, the li yeah, but that's yeah. the thing. They didn't they didn't cast any no, any glow no, of was, any sort. They were they were bright. I mean, they looked just yeah, like yeah, but they didn't glow like the like the white light. No, they did not glow like they did not outpower the light, the white light. That's a good point. And, and the amber is, color bars the were amber just. Bars, you would, would if you go back to your vehicle and you turn your parking lights on, that's what it looked like. I mean, okay, and about that brightness, they were on just amber bars. I would say mm -hmm. four feet by maybe they had to be four or six inches wide okay. strips on the craft. Yeah, yeah, one, two, three. One, two, three. I could see the curve. Plain as day. One. Yeah. There could have been three more bars on the other side. I don't know, but that's what I saw. One, two, three. Yeah. The amber light, you can see it plain as day, and then the rest of it just was a wash. I got the shade, the light came around, turned, that, was, that went slow, that was another thing, turned right around mechanically slow like this, until it was right at us. And I was like, mm -hmm. now this is a 30 out 6 between the eye moment, what is this gonna be? No, you know exactly. I mean? But then it dawned on me that there was no light, and that was, the, the first thing was it was creepy, then once it was focused on us, I, I, I quickly realized, we're not in the light. There's no light on right. us. How is this possible? Right. I'm, I'm looking right at us. Look, we're in the we're dark. Yeah, there was dark. Nothing. There's nothing. Nothing shining yeah. on us. Yet there's aiming something at us. Yeah. Now that's after they ducked back in. Mm -hmm. Just to chronological the, the, the time. After they ducked back in, after I was talking, then the light, as if they went and did something, and then the light came around. And they were still milling as we were, as like I said, it's there, and we're now we're going away from it to the, to the thing, and it's there, and it's, and it's there. You know, as we're watching, and then and then he hit the dam, and bam, the dude's right there, right there. I don't know if he was Amazing. there all the time, or he just went in an instant. He was there, but he was there. He wasn't there when we when he, we first he stumbled upon them, or um, or you lost the paddle. You can't remember losing the paddle. It just disappeared. It was, it was like a car trick. Yeah. You know, it, it, it just disappeared. Air. Put it, it's put it in the boat. Oh, he he you know, stopped. Look, you got a paddle in here. I don't see how yeah, you could he, lose it. No, paddle. he put it down. And I mean, even with a wooden one, you put it in, it floats. It floats. It floats. How do you lose it? Your paddles are laying out, Richard. The paddles are laying down here out of your way while you're fishing. They're out of your way. So I'm trying to get a handle on how you guys are perceiving it, because there are times when you're thinking, now nah, we don't think it was part of the experience, but both of you are obviously mystified by how the damn paddle lost. Well, that's what started was the weirdness of it. That was the weirdness of the, that was the weird thing that happened, then led to this weirdness over here. I was like, are they related? I mean, how And the we went just back disappear? to the area where you, paddle just disappear? Where the, it's very narrow. Yep. You would be able to see the paddle, I would think. How I you, mean, even over even here, as wide as this, even as wide as this, how could, see how could you not find it? There's no wind still. It blows my mind it's not gonna pen the paddle's not gonna like work its way underneath the brush pile and penetrate that and hide it was so narrow up there we lost this paddle's like this paddle what was the paddle <laughs> where the paddle, where the paddle I mean, we, paddle? we literally paddled into the underbrush looking at and uh, under I was the under brush either for. you act either the either the paddle was just a freak accident and you stumbled upon these aliens in the woods right, you're missing a point though or, I, yeah, had right. to have the, I had to have the paddle to paddle all the way up to where we went. I could not have lost the paddle like halfway along the way and didn't realize it. We need two paddles. We, as far as we went, 
we had to paddle till we got there. To the, all the way through, we stopped. We didn't go any further. So you really only and that's lost where we lost the paddle. We decided we didn't come back down the river. We were fishing that area, and I was like, yeah, I said, well, okay, that's it. We start working back, and like, paddle's gone. Paddle's gone. So you had to paddle all the way to where you went fishing, yeah. and then on your way back, well, just at soon the as we beginning, decided, you realized. We didn't even leave the spot, the area. As soon as we decided, okay, let's go back, it's gone. It just took me all the way there, but now it's gone. Within a second or a couple of seconds. Well, we probably half hour of fishing before I realized right, right, we're sure. ready to go. You know, where's the paddle? I mean, what did I? I probably went from here to there and maybe a little bit back, a little bit further. We were looking around for it, and like, and all the way back as well. I'll see it on the way back. I mean, there's no fit. It can't get away from us. It's not like there was. It can't a big run current. away from it's us. Not gonna, right. like, there's no, it, this can't happen under these circumstances. This is a swamp. This is nine mile swamp. Yep. And it the more wasn't water, there. The more rain it there is, the more water. There. You know. So, oh, it was calm like this. It's yeah. just flat. Mm -hmm. this, is oh, yeah. you, this is what you see. But it's like the level of the water is right. it changes. Right. But it's swamp land. This bit. is, right. you know, right. not like a no major super river. Strong it's current that you can get through. Yeah. It's a swamp. So that's uh, that's why we were, we were perplexed about the paddle part. And from, from the time where you... Wait, they just come by, zip over our heads and say, zip the paddle out or something? Was there, was there on their way over here? <laughs> what did they do? I'm guessing it's like maybe a five-minute paddle from, from where you started to here. I mean, you weren't that far off? Or, or well, where? we were that night. We were much farther. You were farther off. Oh, yes. I, don't, I didn't take you far. I'm not going to go all <laughs> Okay, go that okay. distance. We were much, much further. You know what I mean? But from that corner that I did take you up mm -hmm. to about that bend is where... Honestly, I believe I could start to see the glow at the distance. Yeah. That's about where that part of the story started Crazy. there. So all the way it took from there down to here to eventually come around to where you could see like, well, it's not the bridge the glow the glow is coming from. The bridge is down there where the people would be fishing. It's right here someplace. You come around, it's like, wait, it's in the woods. And the whole, it's you, in the you woods. You were both adamant that you're, uh, the time, you had no missing time. You had I don't no, think so. You don't think so, and you don't think so either. No, well. You don't know? <laughs> There's no way of definitely saying yes There's or no. There's no way of definitely knowing, but I don't see There, there really isn't. Anything. How could you say yes or no to that? Okay. Because, I mean, if there was missing time, I wouldn't know about it. Right, and it would have to be very short missing time because we weren't watching our clocks. Well, that was we, the thing. We didn't I go mean, like, it, okay, we're seeing this at it's, uh, 9.45. I'm not looking at the clock. I'm guessing it was about uh, half hour uh, half hour after complete darkness set in. That could be 10 o'clock. Because I said it took us time to get out of there uh -huh. because I only got the one paddle. So we were and we were further up there. And this then wasn't, you know, like uh, by 8 30, 9 o'clock. Uh, 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 this was later. It was pitch black. It yeah, was, but you brought, it was you dead brought up night. a point to possibly three, and I never gave that consideration. Know. You know, because I saw the two. I believe you did. A little further down from, that from where. Was waving, standing right there yeah, waving. It, My eyes were only on that, nothing else. Nothing else. Yeah, yeah well, well, could the wave have been no, don't. I don't know what don't the venture was. forward to them. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought it was. I thought the, it was the, friendly. The light that came around was it something analyzing us? I don't know. I mean, it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There, there's a lot of questions there that, I'll, that you'll contact. never answer. No matter what, and I wish I knew it. Agree, it was, it was, it was a form of trying to make contact. Seems like to it be. to me. It couldn't, it's, couldn't be anything else. It's, it's looking at you. It's doing some odd thing with its arm. Very like slow a, motion. Kind of a wave. I'm t like sl articulated wrist, like this. Well, one guy, one Slow guy. Slow motion, mm -hmm. like this. It mentioned Tai Chi. Like this. Similar to in, in uh... Slow motion. Mm -hmm. On the YouTube. All per perpendicular. Video just that, with the other arm like this, Richard, but the other arm just dangling like this, still. Perfect, perfect statue just doing this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was floored. I mean, I was just like, what the heck? I mean... What does this mean? What is this? What is all this I'm seeing? And then my neck snap. Louis, Louis dragged me out of the canoe. <laughs> I had to do what I had to do, folks. But when I got, when I got in the canoe, I stopped. And I had to get back in. You know, mm -hmm. I had to, and I'm looking back. And now it's just you not know, standing there, just standing there as a figurine. And the light going light. So then as, as, you're, just, as you're being pulled away, as, as Louis pulling this canoe no, away. No, he just jumped in and took beat feet right down, right down to the truck. So you just left. Just left. You're out of here. You're out of here. Yeah, and so he's like, well, what was it? that truck up so down. damn quick. Did and you I park was. where we parked yeah. coming in here? Yeah, Same just spot. like that. You back, pull it up, backed up. We threw that canoe in there, tied up. Right. And you were in the water the whole time just pulling. So you were no, soaking no, no, wet. No, no, no. I got right back in. Got right oh, back yeah. After I yanked us off of the... 
I mean, it was deeper than it was. It, it, it was probably almost it waist deep well to me. could have been deeper back then. You yeah, know, know, and, it and when I jumped in, I didn't know how deep it was. I'll be honest. I would have started swimming with uh -huh. the canoe or swimming without it. Yeah. I'm not going to lie about that either. <laughs> deep, deep, no. And I wound up taking off uh, through the dam, you know, you don't down, yeah. drag yeah. the canoe a bit, yeah. and then jump back oh, in. And he's, what the hell is that? What was that? And I, I didn't want to find out. I would today, as I said. You're in survival instinct mode, you know. That's Fight or flight. Exactly. My I gut told me to exactly. take get it out. To get I mean, out. we don't know what outcome it would have been if we did make contact. Try to pinpoint the exact spot. And it was unknown. It was just the unknown. I have to think, if most people saw what you guys saw, an, an alien, for lack of a better word, some creature that looked like that, right. I think many people would just get out. I think, I really think most people would probably want to get out. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was guess. odd. There's no doubt about that. It, was, it doesn't get much odder. So. But you do find people have different reactions to these crazy things, whether it's an up-close UFO sighting or a creature sighting. Uh, sometimes people have an unusual sense of calm that they can't explain later. They think, why, why was that I was so me, calm? I That's I was crazy. Pretty, I was fairly right. calm. Or some people have uh, even a, 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 a more extreme reaction than even you had, where they get really just uh, an extreme panic, yeah. So it, something happens that, that causes unusual emotional special, reactions, I, I think. I gotta know. That's what it seems like. Every moment of it that I didn't know. Definitely makes sense. But this is it. Well, how about we and try we have, to go in? Uh, I would love there's to. There's a landing yep, spot, we I saw. We haven't it. even yeah. touched the land yet. This will be the first time we're walking on their land since I see a landing since, spot since it myself. So it'll be Here we go. Okay, we're docking here. Coming in. Right behind you. We're coming in hot. Thank you. I use these, these big trees as the guideline. So here's a big mature tree. Right here. Here's a, here's a stump behind it. See the, the perimeter? There's a log stump, that big tree behind it with Richard standing. Yep. So let's say this next tree here, that next tree there, Okay. This big, these big stumps here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come around to maybe the the, the big tree. This is a large area you're talking this about. This stump here, this stump here. You know, keep keep come on the inside of these bigger trees back to this this back again to this tree. This is the area right in here. This but you said area. it was all disturbed by skitters. This I can tell they logged in here. See these stumps? Yeah. See, they, they, you see this there, this gully there. right here? It comes in there. See the tree tops they left there? They logged in here. They probably did this 15, 20 years ago. They logged in. That dump stumps have been, they've been. They probably logged that too long after we were in here. And this wouldn't have been here. This is young. These are all young stuff. This probably has all been so going in. So this whole in area was like you said the soil was like coffee ground. Yeah, see, most of your forest floor is. There was nothing here. You oh, said there was nothing. no living thing here. Nothing. nothing. Stripped clean. It was. This, you see this little hump it's right here, like John? See this little hump right here? Yeah. We stopped digging. You probably know this could be one of our humps. It could be one. What's left of them? This could be one of the humps it's right possible. here. Possible. It's possible. That's one of the humps. We came in, there was three humps in a row. One hump, two humps, three humps. This area is this, cleaned this, out this though. When I came in, the humps. What's it this? was cleaned out. This almost looks like this is circular kind of a there thing. There are humps. This is almost circular. There were humps I don't that know stuck off the ground about this high. This is a How hump. How far apart were the humps? Close. One, two, three, right next to each other. Like here, maybe. In a straight line. In a straight line. They were not in a triangle, they were in a straight line. <laughs> But Look, the humps were but still wait, also like uh, soil. It was there's was nothing there. Well, you see all this? Right. It, when I tell you there was not one, not one, not one. Blade of grass or nothing. Not one. Nothing. So there's wait, nothing. And you could go around here. You that could, tree. The, well, I can't be exact. Way, I can't give but, you exact. Right, but roughly. let's just say roughly inside this perimeter right here. How large a diameter would you say? Stay. So keep right inside these big trees to this stump right in here to that stump to right in here. Stump. Okay, let's let's do this, Lou. So I'm gonna say that maybe 20 feet, feet diameter. Maybe is that does that sound right? Um, that's the impression I'm getting from you, but I don't know. Imagine they go from here. Let's just get, say that maybe. stump around here. Come around here. Let's make imaginary line going around to there. A, a radius going around that stump right here, around there, and then let's do that same thing right around in and here. It goes right around here to that stump. Right here is part of the perimeter. Like all around in here. Going back around there. Um, so let's use this. Funny thing, I mean, it's more than 20 feet. That's uh, yeah. I mean, there's, there's a big. Let's just, I mean, I don't know that way or this way exactly. Trees like this I, I mean, I can't tell you if it's centered exactly. 30 feet diameter, I'm thinking. I would say 25, 30 feet in diameter was this big area. 
and all of this was this just the, this nothing but soil. It was like coffee grounds, they said. This could be, see this little ridge right here? See this real, little ridge line? See how it goes yes, up? Yes, yeah. Okay, there's this little hump ridge line. It probably goes almost to the road. It probably does go, it continues to the road. Mm -hmm. So on the other side of that, back up in that corner is that cornfield. When we left that night, we took off up the road. We got about halfway up, halfway through the cornfield. And on this side, facing the wrong way, mm -hmm. was a, an orange Ford F-150 pickup. It was like back in the 70s, it had that goofy orange color with a, like a white stripe on it. Yeah. And it was parked off, off the road, facing the opposite direction, you know, like you should have been parked on this side, he's on the opposite side. And I always wondered to this day if there wasn't somebody that came in and was off this damn ridge looking down in. I also saw this and pulled into that parking lot and went, came across this cornfield from a different angle. Just to watch. Just, to see. Just another witness. Yes, I often wonder if there mm -hmm. could have been another witness. Did you, you didn't see a guy in the truck? No. Like it was an old, it was an old Ford, uh, orange Ford pickup mm. with, with that white stripe on it. That was a typical beat up old farmer truck. It wasn't there, obviously parked when we came in the evening, but it was there when right. we beat feet to get the hell out of there. Show, no. show John the, uh, so all of this again was soil that was just nothing. Nothing, but the just, I think Louis' description of coffee grounds is just keep that in your mind, how pure that would be. And you were saying, we want to it came in, right up to a tree. Yeah. Sure. Okay. You get a good look at it in the sunlight. You got to let him explain this mm -hmm. because this is John remembers really it. something. He saw it. He knows. He remembers it. Yep. Well, well, right. You were also, you saw it, right? Yeah. Exactly. With, his, with uh, Freddie's cousin, Chuck. So John, whatever you want. You want to get over here and film or whatever. I'm filming. He's I'm got it. He's filming. So, you got the bark. And then all the dirt that looked like coffee grounds was pulled away. There was nothing there. And every tree in this whole perimeter, there was nothing there. It was dirt with precision. No stones, no nothing, no roots, no anything. Nothing, not, nothing none like of these this. Stones, nothing. Nothing like this at all. All loose right up to the bark precision. All the way around. Perfect precision. Every one of these trees, it was loose. Loose with nothing, no roots, no stones, no nothing. Perfect. Right up to where the, maybe the lichen mold or anything that's on the bark was undisturbed. No bark was burnt, no bark was disturbed, no branches were busted. But this forest floor was stripped so clean with not a single little, I mean, even this little bit right here would take me a lot of minutes to try to get it that clean. Get every little piece of organic material out of here. And yeah, you came here three days after. And this was three days after, whole this is what area, I found. area, you're saying, was. This area, this is what I found, like this. Just like, really. okay. Yeah. Just put your hand out. Yeah. Just let it go through your fingers, because that's about what it was, light and fluffy like nothing. Everything, you see, yeah. in, that, in, that, in that circumference. That's uh, was incredible. like that, stripped. Well, everything else is the way it is now. Perfect. With no sign of any anything coming in and out here. Absolutely not. Well, someone someone stripped it clean, either the, the beings clean. you saw or if there was a cleanup after, who knows? I, I couldn't tell you. It was stripped no one clean. Knew. Whatever, I mean, whatever did it, it was unbelievable. I never seen anything like it. Stripped clean. So that would be it. And that is that. Sanitized. Sanitize, it was like sanitized, it was exactly what it was like. I, I never seen never seen anything like it. How, how could you do that right now? And you said no tracks, no, no sign tree. of any machinery oh, no sign of that no, had been no there. Sign of no, nothing around this whole perimeter and then out to the field and beyond. What and clean you said, up? You what, said what did was, they do? Did they come from the sky and clean it up? You said what, no was, damage to trees that you no could identify. No damage to tree limbs. No branches broke. No trails. No no scuffed up marks, like something was dragged, no wheel, nothing. A forest floor, like you see that, just like it is in July. Just look around. Exactly. Just the way you see it. Undisturbed, no, not, even, not even a trail, not even a deer trail like you just saw. Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing, except that area was stripped clean. So. 
This is definitely it. This is definitely the spot. And that, so we, Lou's got the uh, Geiger be counter. One of the humps. I that heard could it beep be a one few of the times. Oh, you got the no, metal detector. Well, I found a can and I wanted to make sure it was working. Metal detector. And it did. Okay, good. It's not even impossible. That is one of the humps. It's not impossible. Okay, so we should take a sample then. <laughs> I guess. Thank it's not you. impossible. Because the minute we walk in, we actually came in that day, Richard. We didn't come in like we just did in the corner. Mm -hmm. We came in head on. We just beached it in the front and walked straight in. When we came back yeah, okay. at it. Right, 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 okay? right. And so if I'm walking right up in from the low part through there, stepped up in here, that's one of the first things I saw was the three humps in the strip. Very weird, but I, I can only imagine your astonishment. Honestly, you're coming back to the scene of this amazing event from three days earlier, and I'm then you see this other thing that's still, inexplicable. I'm still astonished. Maybe every more day inexplicable. I think about it, I'm astonished. I just, I, I'm not embellishing any bit of it. It's just so hard to try to get somebody to. It's, it's mind-boggling to see what it looked like that day here. It was it's, to even get you to comprehend it. The coffee ground thing, I guess, yeah. the best perfect way to describe it. And you guys go for 20 years and not know how to talk about this. I mean, could they, could they come basically. in here with a bulldozer and level this all Everybody out? Everybody would have thought And then spread crazy. coffee grounds like a beach. Then, I mean, now I don't care. At my age, I don't care. Right? I am who I am. And yeah. It doesn't matter. Literally, I mean, right, Lou? Could they do that? Could they come in with a bulldozer and level it out? And then they'd come back with a, with a tractor trailer load of coffee grounds and dump it and spread it all out. Yeah. Sweep it up perfect around, around the, uh, the bark. Right. That's about what we would have to do to, to, to copy this in a short period of time. It'd be a big operation to get the machinery in here anyway. How would you yeah, get machinery into this in? area? Well, they like said that's the corner. To, there was no the broken field. branches. If, if it was a human in, in cleanup crew, piece. how would they get in here with, with machinery? How did they not leave there? evidence that they you were in here? You need large equipment. How would, it, how would it come in? Would it come Unless in they came in as a logging operation. Where would they? Where would be the entry? Point? They'd come in through that farmer's field, come right in there and log. And log yeah, but there was it. no track or nothing. No, I'm talking about right now. If, oh. if, if indeed we're just theorizing somebody, they definitely logged in here. These are these are the stumps. This is the proof. They logged seven, 20 years ago, whatever. This was 23 years ago. We were in here. These are old stumps. They've been logged. I a would long think time if ago. this was a human cleanup crew, you'd need some really major equipment to do the thing that you're describing. I think so too. I would think more than one piece of, of machinery no uh but it you know me and him we we, we try to walk and it was level out. you said it was all level you see that nice northern pike you just level. saw today Rick, except you for see the that nice the, the guy with his gal over there he caught the nice fish right yeah, right so that's how ditzy we are we come back in after all this we're like let's just go fishing here. <laughs> you know what i'm uh -huh. saying let's just go fishing to like think about all this you know it's kind of like Right, right. Well, at that time, we didn't think anybody would believe us. I'm anyway. like, you know, who am I going to tell you? You know, I wanted to, I wanted to, because we had to the Air Force you know, base. I wanted gonna... to call the Air Force. And he's like, we're not calling nobody. You know, you're, I mean, you're running your own, your own business. Well, you know, you don't want people to think they're in our no, no, right, right, right. neighborhood. Next thing you know, you're, you're the neighborhood sure. crackpot, you know. You're the, what are you going to let that guy fix your equipment for? You know, he's a nut. <laughs> <laughs> right? You no. so, shut up. Sure. You don't say nothing. Outside of that incident at the school, Probably at a party with him one night, I told a couple other couples. Uh, really, very limited, until this video that he recorded, very limited people. I couldn't believe there would even be, not even, not even two dozen people. Well, that class was two dozen people.